Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Legion Trouble back with another video on GPO today for you guys. So today, you guys see the title. I'm about to show you guys how to properly use Bari because most likely you guys aren't using it right, which is why you guys hate it. Now, don't get me wrong. It is overall a pretty trash fruit. I'm not going to lie, but it, it, it is workable to an extent. I'm just going to show you guys how to use this fruit so PvP will be less stressful and you'll have a little bit more fun. But in all honesty, if I were you guys, I'd still try to just get a better fruit. But why you can't get the better fruit, I suggest just watch closely, watch closely. So yeah, you guys go ahead and drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys enjoy GPO videos, let me know down below. If you guys want to see another type of video, let me know. Keep an eye out for a giveaway. I'll be doing a GPO giveaway soon, so y'all pay attention. Also, my bad about my voice. I've low-key been out all day. You feel me? I was at a party. Yeah, I'm losing my voice. I, I it, it sounds like trash right now, but it is what it is. Anyways, y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So first of all, we're gonna do a breakdown of the whole fruit because one thing that's different about the Bari fruit that most people don't realize, the Bari compared to the other fruit is not the typical fruit. Bari is more like of a support defense type fruit. You guys use uh, other fruits mainly to spam moves, attack, deal damage. Bari is not a damage dealing like fruit at all by any means by all these moves there's only one that really is doing damage like that the other ones have deflection abilities entrapment abilities encasement abilities you guys get you did you dig what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna just just look at the moves so the first move we got we got barrier crash we got a wall you can pretty much hold it infinitely because if you have stamina like me it's gonna keep coming back no matter what you do uh do me a favor shoot your rpg at this so yeah, y'all just watch this. No matter what, deflected. You see what I'm saying? The fruit is it, it. Almost everything it does is to protect you. I can encase myself in case enemies shoot this one. It bounces off. No matter what I do, that's the point of the whole fruit. No matter how you try to look at it, the fruit is not here to fight. Like if you trap them in there, even when they shoot it, it's just bouncing. Like, yeah, it can't even hurt you in there. So that that's the, my point about this fruit that you guys got to understand. This fruit by any is not by any means meant for damage. It's meant to support the rest of your build, which is why I'm going to get into the second part of this, the weapon choice. Now, I'm going to tell you guys this. If you have Bari, you definitely are going to need some kind of good weapon, a weapon you can use, whether that be Trident by Sento, Grav Blade, Grav Cane, Pole, whatever it's called, the Kiribachi, whatever you guys can get your hands on, I would, the, the Sea Beast Katana and the regular Katana won't be any use because they have no specs, you're going to need some nice specs, what I suggest, getting the Elo Hammer maybe, just because that's something you can buy with Robux, but if you get lucky and trade and get either the Pole, the Kiribachi, or Grab Blade, Grab Cane, Trident, one of those by Sento, you got some options, if you were, have any way of getting those or if you already have it, that's what I suggest using, just because the fact that since Bari is meant to support the rest of your build, you're going to need something else to carry pretty much. So to be a Bari user, you're going to have to main your melee skills. So you're going to have to hone in your melee skills hardcore. Now, the next part I'd suggest, you want to use Rokushiki just because being a Bari user, you're there, if you're doing melee, your best bet is to be shifty, a lot of movement, and having Soru gives you that, honestly. You have Soru, you're moving a lot, it's hard to keep track of what you're doing. I could literally go here and get behind you. And yeah, so I just suggest that. It also has a uh, Renkaku. So if you do that, that's also an extra move you could put in there. Now, the thing about this, to be able to use this whole build, it requires a lot of skill. I'm not gonna lie. So if you're not the skill type PvP player and you just wanna spam, go ahead and leave the video, I guess. Uh, because yeah, that, that that's all this build you're gonna need. Because yeah. I'm gonna show you guys. So, you guys gotta learn how to utilize the whole setup of your whole build. So, for example, I got Grab Blade, so I got Gravity Field, and I got Gravity Frenzy, my slash. Now, the main aspects of this build that you wanna take advantage of are the cage, the sphere, and the crash. Those are the ultimate, ultimate moves on this build to carry you. Now, they are extremely hard to land, I'm not gonna lie, because everyone's always flying in the air and stuff, which makes it a little harder. 
because you got to find a way to be moving and trap at the same time. Literally, you got to be fighting, switch over, and try to land it on them. It's really hard to do, like, in when said. It make it sound. It sounds easy when you say it, but then in, in actual PvP, it's mad hard. I'm not going to lie. But that's why I'm trying to show you guys how to do it. So, typically, how I land my barrier cages, I distract them with a bunch of other stuff before I do it. So, whether that be a barrier crash, followed by a rain cock you, just they don't see it coming so that when it's time, I can land on their head. Also, you could do it after an M1 combo. Since I have Grab Blade, I love doing that. I piece them up if they don't die. Get them in that, and while they're stuck in that, trap them in there. That's one free ability. Once you get them in there, you can get your Gravity Blade out, get a quick Frenzy, and then I always back up, try to get one more move in there. And yeah, it's going to go up from there. That's, that's the main thing. Now, one, one big disadvantage as a bar user you don't have that little shield that the fruits give you the logias don't allow you to get hit and the thing is with bari you don't have that so when people when you run out of your hawk hockey people are gonna be able to hit you but you can't hit them which kind of sucks because yeah a lot of times i'll really be smacking people up but then i run on my hockey and i'm like dang what am i supposed to do now but i came up with a way to deal with that so when i run out of hockey as cheesy as this is all that I do, I trap them in here, and I back up, give my hockey a chance to regenerate. Once it does, it will eat almost all my stamina. I'm not going to lie, I'll be at like 300 by then. But it is what it is. I'll be able to fight with at least half my hockey left, which is what, is, which is what I really need, because I can't damage them without it. Now, you guys, as you can see, I do hella damage with my sword. I do 29 with my sword when I have my hockey on. I think I do 18 or 19 when it's off, not 100% sure, but you guys are definitely going to have to make your build centered around your melee. That that's There's no other way to put it. Don't put it in a Roku, none of that. You got to center around your melee if you're going Bari mode. That's the matter. That's the truth of the matter, honestly. But yeah, I'm going to be putting up some clips, maybe one or two clips of me actually filing an arena with it so you guys can see that. It is doable. There's also a YouTuber. I forgot his name. Uh, yeah, I do 19 damage. But yeah, there's another YouTuber. He's pretty goaded with this. I'm not going to lie. Like, he's godly at this. If I can remember. I wish I could remember his name. But, yeah. It, it's very much doable. It's just going to take a lot, a lot of time, practice, and effort. I don't know how many of y'all are going to put in that effort. I wouldn't fault you if you chose not to. It's not worth it. I'm not going to lie. When you can really just go find a fruit. But at the end of the day, I'm just trying to help you people out who have been stuck with this and, you know, y'all that have been begging for trades and no one trades you. You dig what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Anyways, I hope this video really helped you guys out. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to hit me up in Discord. Go ahead and join Discord down below. And, yeah, ask any questions and I got you. I'll see y'all on another video. Peace.